Boobs, tits, balls, Stop ass, it. cheese, from Stop. under cheese, Do from it. under cheese. It don't stink. Bruises really smell like poo, 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 poo. Bro, that was, that was dick move. <laughs> what? We're live? Yes, we're live. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, okay. Um, Louie, bring your gain up on your head. <laughs> Better? I just heard myself better. Perfect. Alright, here's the warning. Warning. I am tired ass. Okay, here we go. This one's to nipples, because I thought. What's, what's going on, about. friends? Swags is talking about nipples. It is Sunday, the VF. I got the hat on. I got an awesome little buffet for you guys. We got stuff to talk about, things to show you. We're going to have a good time. Make sure you grab some caffeine because it is very much needed right now. 
Mm. Mm. Ah, grab your favorite vape. Sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious the TX, Tenacious vapes, TX channel. vapes channel. Except no imitations. Expect no limitations. <laughs> what is that? Dude, it's backwards. Is it? Oh, yeah, your entire screen's back. There you go. All right, East Coast reppin'. There we go. <laughs> Say what's up, panel. What's up, panel? How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? James Ryan says, "Rip Pal 702." Man, we were just discussing Pal is having a rough time with his job schedule right now, and mm -hmm. he is still a part of this panel. Uh, we 100%. miss Pal as well. Debatable. Deba <laughs> I mean, so he won't watch it back to be able to hear that. So we'll just pretend I never said it. That's true. Hashtag no watchbacks. And I'd yeah, like to give a very big welcome to um, Louis, Louis, new Louis, high definition or better definition, Louis. 1080p. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 1080p, Louis, with the uh, mouse on the wall. Yeah, there, there you go. Right there. there you hey, go. it works. What do you know? Nice. Sweet. So, very, very cool. You know what? Let's start it off right. Uh, Louie, make us all feel bad about a buffet, bro. What's going on? Sunday fun day. Uh, how, how is everyone in chat doing? Me too, Ian Thomas. A few good people in chat. Ruben, John Q. Geezer, Broken Oh my man. I see you got in the Loki can. You'll be getting that black ace here pretty soon. Speaking of the ace here... That's what I got right here. We just did a uh, group opening up in the uh, high end vape form for one of these bad boys. Love this little mech honker. On top of that, we got one of my top favorite RDAs of the year. The uh, behind it. There, you go. there we go. Uh, there we go. The uh, flavor. Is. Yeah, flavor blackout edition with the never normal cap on top. Inside of there, we got what am I got in here? Uh, oh, crooks. There we go. Some crooks because I'm drinking coffee, so why not? Next up, we got the uh, Explorer XS with the beautiful Psychro. Psychro, they just did nice accessories and a RDA release, I think, two days ago. So hopefully a few of you guys got on there. How much better is that stainless cap, man? Well, this is the never normal cap. I yeah. did snag the Psychro stainless steel cap so i'll have one of them coming shortly but i love the stainless thank cap. god i missed that list oh yeah i didn't i didn't want to warn you guys because it's christmas and all and hanukkah and stuff well i got the i got the never normal one too man and that's <sighs> cap. i'm cap, selling my i'm selling my sick room i love the the stock seco cap because how short it is but this is so much more comfortable the edges are like you know they got them sharp edges on there but it's for looks i get it but this is just yeah. nice and, and the, the two-piece cap from Psycho is the same way. Oh, let's do uh, Inside there, yeah. we got uh, Cannoli B1. Yeah. All right, next, we got some uh, some new new, the Hussar V2. This thing is so lovely. Love it. Oh, I got to get this figured out. But, yeah, you'll get the idea. On top of there is the, uh, or on bottom of there, I guess, the Hellfire Cobra. Yep, yep, yep. Inside there we have uh damn it wow we got some fried oreo cookies yeah fried haven't had that in a while pretty damn good uh next second to last we got the fp aria yes yes some pretty beautiful purple black cerakote action on top of there yep. another star product who star v1.5 this thing is just taking over. I love this RTA. Put your hand closer. Love the it. The other hand. There you go. There we go. Focus. Yeah. Focus. Focus. I'm going to do the stand. Focus. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. It hates you. It hates me. It's all right. I'll smack <laughs> it later. I'll show it who's boss. Uh, inside there, because I'm half Greek, you know, it, I saw this liquid. And it's, uh oh, you better focus, you little bastard. There we go. Pistachio baklava, dude. 
this stuff is amazing. It's so good. It's spot on baklava. The honey is the first honey I've ever tried that does not taste like uh like a dandelion. It, it's actually honey. It's really good. Dandelions? What's up, Broken Home? Yeah. And then last but not least, we got the uh, Joko FL Daiko's Edition. Yeah. And on top of that, we got the uh, beautiful, beautiful Integra. Oh, it's going to focus. Thank the Lord. And inside there, we got some uh, Mark Todd Rupt liquid, some uh, Regency Vapor. Yeah. Carbon. And uh, that's all I'm vaping on tonight or today. Tonight, today. My days were all mixed up. Take it away, Swaggins. Okay. Damn. You're Hello, everyone. Dude. There's no yeah. yelling allowed in baseball. Oh, there he goes. Baseball's a lazy man sport, let's be honest. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to another Sunday. My name's Vapor Swaggins. I'm here so you don't have to be. Yeah. <laughs> You're. <so> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> He's super excited to be here today. Yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Today is uh well not sponsored by Stratum, but partnered by Stratum. Uh my my buffet is partnered by Stratum. I've got the V4 white Delrin <laughs> polished with the dwarf mouth to lung on top. Cracked this baby back out, and I'm really happy about it. Um inside of there. What is inside of there? Pango. Yeah, Pango by Transistor. I, I want to put some more custards in my vapes because there's a lot of good custards that I have on my desk right now that aren't 5150, even though 5150 has had its fair share of dominating my setups. Um, I want to I want to switch some stuff in because there's some really good juices that I've gotten in, um, but I just can't help myself. Next, I've got the Titanium EVL Reaper V3 that I picked up mm. uh, on the last show. You guys probably mm. remember who those of you who watched and i'm loving it i've got a otis titanium whistle tip on top to match it out perfectly on top of the brand new um straight mv4 submariner uh with that adjustable 510 which is dope um and i'm really loving this 385j chip like i'm really loving it um and inside of that tank i have uh transistor tango melon because that's just my juice, man. And last, I've got the Stratum 303, one of a uh, handmade or whatever, special edition. <laughs> and uh, and on top of that, I have the Skyfall with uh, the NVIDIA, Project NVIDIA tip because Skyfall stainless. is good with that black cap in it. The black yeah, ring. and I put, the black, I put the black AFC in there. So just a little touch to match the button and everything else, stainless to match the stainless. And inside of that, I also have Tango Melon. I showed it to you already. I'm not going to exert myself to reach for it again because that's what it means to be high end. And that's me. <laughs> Go ahead, Stan. Why don't you show them what you're vaping on? All right, all right, all right. Let me get this swapped over here. Bam. So here's the deal. Today, today, I'm rocking the Melody Box with the extended tripod R RTA on top. Um, I found the extension at Vape Life. So that was pretty cool. I got to grab that. Uh, uh -huh. Inside that, I'm rocking Paramon. Paramon, which I'm going to have to reload on real quick. Uh, I'm also rocking the Stratum Delrin Ornament. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Got a little juice on it. That's sex okay. in your hand, man. That's sex in your hand. With the Mav T on top of that. Inside that, I got the 5150 Detox. You know, you know how it goes. Thank you very much to our sponsors, 5150. Uh, mm -hmm. That juice is mm -hmm. absolute fire. Dude, I have like eight bottles of 5150 on my desk at hand. <clears throat> I, too, am rocking the just regular stainless steel DL version of the Evil Reaper V3 with the MMV Thrill. <sighs> Yeah, here, here's all the colorful side. Oh, it's so pretty. Would you look at that? It's so pretty. Wow. Um, inside yeah. that, I am rocking some of that highly regarded uh, Quax e-liquid. This is the duck berry. It looks like Gorilla Glue is what it looks like. It does, kind of, doesn't <laughs> it? Um, and then I am rocking the Gloom DNA Freehand. 
the 75C with the late turbo on top. There's 550 uh. detox in that as well. And last but certainly not least, the creme de la creme of today. This is my brand new, just got this in, super stoked, did a live opening on the VF Facebook group of the V5 Submariner um, mm. Stratum. Stratum V5 Submariner with, I mean, this thing, it's got the, the badass 510 on it with the Integra on top. Ooh, and it just so looks so fire. It's so mm. small. Here it is next to the Thrill. It's smaller than the Thrill. What? It's smaller than the Thrill. I'm so mad I slept on that. <sighs> um. Yeah, yeah, you are. Ugh. And inside that, I've got another Mark Todd suggested liquid quacks uh goose juice it yes focus it will not focus there it so is so glad you listened to me on that huh i'm so glad you listened to me on that and got some yeah you know what i like it i'm a custard guy it's good stuff wait till you, i'm letting mine sit wait till, let it sit for four weeks oh my it totally, i don't need to it's real good oh the way it is God. i have um, a question yeah did the sick girl come with a beauty ring i forget yes okay the sick girl came with a beauty ring it? Oh, just wondering if this, I'm thinking yeah. this beauty I'm ring was. At it. Yeah, it I'm comes with a guy. beauty ring. Okay. Um. So yeah. No. Yes. Good things all around. Everybody is locked and loaded. Um. I I cannot say enough good things about that Stratum V5. And speaking of Stratum, just a real big thank you to our partner Stratum. If yes. you want to get um free priority shipping in the states, you can use the code the VF. Uh. And Hey man, you don't get discounts on on shops like that normal. So free shipping, that's eight bucks. It's eight that bucks. little bit, man. It's what it's what we could get. I think we've talked about this in the past, but think about it. You're spit. You pay like four hundred dollars for something, and just that extra seven ninety or whatever is just like that extra little straw. You know, it's like yep. oh, it's the difference between. I mean, just a nice even number. It's it's a good amount of money anyways. So it's like just to take that little extra round off of it. I mean, for me, that that can make or break something. Yeah, sure. exactly. Me too. And, and speaking of someone wanting to buy something, uh, we got a question in, in, in chat. Ruben wants to know if any good uh, tight MTL tanks out or RTAs out on the market right now. Um, the Reaper V3. The Reaper V3. Well, yeah, V3 I would suggest the that MTL one. version. Or yeah, the or the four one five RTA. The four one five also, the Patabulum. Uh, and the uh, Vape Monster Noi, N O I. That one's really nice and. Tight. And the Dwarf Mouth Along, which are available. Every part is available on Stratum Store right now. You can get every part you need. And honestly, I would, if you guys are in the KHW group, they're they've been teasing something new coming out. So if anybody mm -hmm. knows, if you all know how things work is like that new news going to come out and it's going to re-excite people about a great RTA. So if you want to get it now, while well, you don't have to worry about like drops and lists and things selling out in F5 wars, whatever, you might as well uh, go check it out. Cause it's not super expensive. This is the 415 with the fancy little uh, <clears throat> top yeah. cap on it and stuff. See, um, he has the uh, clear one. So I'll show you what the sexy little, sexy little, little tank, man, the 415 it's a pricey tank, but it's a sexy little tank. It's a good tank. Yeah. It's tiny, dude. Um, also, the, I think I'm the only one in the crew that has a patabolum, and yeah, that's probably the tightest out of the ones that we suggested. And but I love the, the airflow on that the one. The airflow is really cool. The design is really cool. It's a really, really super nice, well-done tank. Um, and it's got an interesting build deck on it, too. So if you're the kind of guy like me that likes design features and like mm -hmm. different kinds of ways to do things, you might want to check that one out, too. Um, oh, and Swags, can we I say what we heard about that tank? About what? About that tank? Which tank? The Patabulum. What did we hear about it? I forget. I'll put it in the chat, and then we will let you know. All right, how can I forget the Hussar 1.5? Um, they yeah. just did a accessory list, and they have airflow inserts for it, all the way down to 0 0.08 millimeter. So you want tight, tight, the Hussar V1.5 will be available pretty soon in shops. So basically, yeah, um, go with a Stratum or Nushi browse around you really can't go wrong there's so many good products out there if you got a question about which one you're having trouble settling on just post a question in, in the uh the vf group facebook group and you'll get a ton of advice in that group 
the VF Facebook group is one of those groups where uh, people are really cool. Um, nobody's going to dog you or anything. If you've got nope. questions or whatever, go. And we have really good moderators for that reason, too. So um, yeah. if you have any questions at all, don't worry about if you think it's silly or whatever. Just ask it. Just ask it. You may get you may get a little uh, fun poking and stuff at you, but ultimately it'll be followed by very helpful, um, very helpful information. So the VF is a great group. The link will be in the it's description. The high end right forum, now. man. So we're I love about high end. So, all right. Oh, let's talk about. You know what? I got a I got a sad story to start off, and I'm going to tell it now, so I don't have uh, don't have. Uh, sadness toward we always want to end on a positive note pal yeah that one's for you bro um i had been rocking this thing i got this thing and i wasn't quite sure about it because i'm not a fan of just the dna 75 chip that everybody gives me a hard time about but that's me um i've been wanting a shadow for the longest time and this thing has lived up to everything okay this is number 11 i have the box number 11 okay i got this from a vf member um mr william pabst thank you very much to him however i am sad to report that it has died the chip has finally died and i can't like i can't fault the mod i can't fault the modder i just it's it's an older mod it's been used a lot um that just means that I get to put a different chip in it that I prefer. Maybe a DNA 60, maybe a die codes. If you have a preference, put it down in the chat. I want to see what you guys say, what I should put in that shadow, or if I should replace it back with the DNA 75, if you're a purist. Um, so I, I'm really like, I love when you're made of money, about- when you're made of money, like Stan sky's the limit. I say, <laughs> no, 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 no. I actually sold a few things this week. My beloved mm-hmm. insider was moved on. Um, I was going to sell Stan this beautiful die, uh, die codes, this beautiful Delro, but he doesn't want it. So if anybody you else are wants full this. of it, you are full of it. We are working that out as we speak in the background. I will wow. have that mod. Coon sauce is calling you out in chat. It says what? everyone's super helpful in the VF except for this Stan character. I heard there you go, him. dude, that Stan dude. He's a total, he's a total dick. You just he totally, is, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. Shame. Mancuso says DNA 65 I or 60. I am a huge fan of the DNA 60. Uh, Cody Vogler says die codes. Uh, James Ryan says, oh, put a DNA 60 in there. Make it your own. Uh, Matt Cannon <laughs> said put a Wismec chip. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to get that uh, Arctic Fox on there, bro. Here, should I just, should I just. Mac just wants you to Here, I'll just chip. swap it for this guy here. He just wants you to take the chip out of the Pico and put it in there. I'll just swap yeah. the chip out of this thing for it. How about that? No? <laughs> um, actually, you know Excuse what? Me. People, Some people love this thing. Some people hate it. I think it's I like it mod. with the. I like that mod with the black leather sleeve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a fan of the brown. It feels more <laughs> It feels more classic airplane. Like, it matches the uh, – it matches your underwear. And then you put a – and then you put a brush stainless tank on it with an ultim uh, an ult uh, an ultim tank section, and it matches the brass, and it looks nice. So anyway, that's 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 what's going on. Uh, let me check my notes here. Wait, was that the bad news? There's more bad news, isn't there? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, we want to cover that one too. Last, last but certainly not least, on the bad news side, and this will well, lead this us right gonna, into this, one of our yeah. topics. Yeah. Um, your mail. Guys, you've got to, I highly suggest you make sure that you are insuring any packages that you are getting, especially if, if the stuff is costly, um, because people will take sure for the full amount. Yeah. This is how yeah. I got this box. Actually, I got this box like this with this flap up. And this is from Lakeside Craftsman. The dude is awesome. Um, he he's a good man. He makes nice stuff. Ship this out to me. This was closed properly and taped. The tape was cut. This was like this. It was in my locked mailbox, which means a postal worker is the, is responsible for this. Somewhere between when it was dropped off from, uh, when it was dropped off at the after national it, yeah the national after, distribution after it left the distro. center yeah because I've been told that they reweigh them to check the weights. 
Um, yeah. So somewhere between there and my home, a postal worker took my brand new custom panels for my nicely and my custom buttons, which I have no idea why anyone would do that. Yeah. Um, there is a one in a 5,000 chance that they actually knew what it was or now, knew what it was for. Is the company name on the front of that box? Or it is says it just, Lakeside. Just, says just Lakeside. says Lakeside. So, yeah, yeah but, that, that's crazy. So, yeah, um, Braden says Lakeside Craftsman is king of custom door panels, rings, tips, and buttons. Yeah, man, I ordered, I had some kick-ass cry night panels for my nicely um some different colored buttons crinite buttons matching tip and ring and uh you know what it's not his fault but he messaged me saying that he's going to take care of me um and wow. for that i greatly awesome. for that i greatly appreciate him i will be calling my postmaster first thing monday morning and uh, i will be issuing some kind of report just so that they know good because it's a on. felony that person yeah. deserves to do some time for that you don't steal especially, people especially during christmas get yeah the fuck the holidays, out of here. that's just messed up you're like we're supposed to trust these postal workers to get our mail to us safely you know they don't know some of them don't know what's in there but they've got to treat it with with kindness and respect because some people pay a lot of money thieves for are it. the scum of the earth man agreed agreed and for those of you that don't know within the u.s a small like that box I just showed you, small prepaid, or I'm sorry, um, small uh, priority, if it fits its ships box like that, that's $8, $8 shipping. Those have $50 insurance with them. Yeah. And you can pay a couple bucks to up that insurance. Yeah. The medium boxes have $13, or I'm sorry, uh, $100 insurance with them, and it's 13 bucks to ship that. So, it doesn't cost you. It costs you like six bucks to up that from a hundred bucks to three hundred, or to like five hundred. I mean, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not expensive. So at the end of the day, for peace of mind, it's like it's like buying insurance on your on your ticket that you buy f from an airport. You know, mm -hmm. in advance, it's like it is what it is. You may lose out on that hundred bucks. You may lose out on that fifteen bucks extra that you put in there. But you have the peace of mind in knowing that if your shit doesn't show up. You get all your money back. Yeah, I, okay. I do it every time. I've, yeah. I've had some recent experience with packages going missing. Uh, I've had three packages <laughs> go missing in the last three months, right off my porch. So, like, what I started doing was in the little comment box. Um, if, if some some companies offer it, some don't. But I put, please do not put your company name in the you know in the listing of of the of your shipping package or whatever. And I also. I don't have a camera on my porch, but I went on, on Google and typed in, um, um, we're watching you kind of stuff on Google, printed that image out, you know, please smile, you're on camera. And I just taped it to my mailbox. So, you know. Gary the Great said the actuality is Christmas time is, is like high time for package stealing, though. And that is true, and that's why we're discussing with you guys, because every once in a while, um, I did a trade with a gentleman, and he messaged me, he said, hey, man should I put insurance on this? And I said, yeah, absolutely. Put insurance on it. You know, mm -hmm. it wasn't like super high, high expense. It wasn't super expensive stuff, but I was like, put 200 bucks insurance on it. Yep. And that'll it, cover it's everything. peace of mind for everybody, man. You pay the extra couple bucks, you negotiate it in your sale. If you're trading, you both do it. And that way, when you trade it, it if it doesn't show up, then, then you, you don't have to like get in this big stressful debate between the two of you and blah, blah, blah. It's like, all right, well, I got my money back. You know, and then you talk to the person. If you think the person's not trustworthy, then you can work that out. But you got your money back, and you can deal with the person in a you know in a relatively justifiable manner. Like when you lose your money and you have to deal with somebody that you think may be responsible, it's it, it winds up being a mess. If you've had to do it, it is it's like getting in an accident. It's like you want to figure out who's at fault. Both people are angry, so just get your money back, protect your money, make an investment. It's easy. Top Todd's review says, I find it amazing that your mail gets left on your porch in the States. Actually, it's a choice. Um, the person, the person shipping can either mark it that it needs a signature or that it doesn't need a signature. And the person receiving can either sign for it electronically beforehand. So it can be left or not. Uh, so that they have to go to they the can post leave office instructions. To pick it up. You can yeah. leave instructions. Um, I have multiple cameras all around my home. Um, I can pretty much see 360 degrees everywhere. So if you come anywhere near my porch, you're recorded. And uh, I did if buy you come anywhere near my house, like the sidewalk, you're recorded. <laughs> Sorry, bro. 
Luckily, <laughs> Best Buy had a great, great deal on a ring kit, it's like starter kit. And it came with like the ring doorbell, two cameras. So the I only problem with ring is that any, any, um, <clears throat> the internet of things, any of those, uh, products that require the internet can be hacked and are hacked nah. very easily. That's yeah. the, that's the difference. I have a closed, they um, can hack me out there. <laughs> I have a closed right. loop system on the home, but yes, yeah. can be hacked. And that's also why I don't have cameras inside my home, but if you get into my home, I will see you. Um, so here's the deal. Mac Tandon said that the evil re- evil that he ordered from Inushi still hasn't been, uh, still hasn't moved, so he's kind of worried. Don't worry about it just yet, it's brother. It's um, Anushi is a good company, but their shipping takes a little bit of a minute. because. No, let me Canada. clarify, because we both ordered the same day. Uh, oh. it's, Chris- it's Christmas time, that and you're shipping internationally. So, like, mine was supposed to be here last Tuesday, and it arrived on Friday. Yep. So, like I'd said to you, Mac, like if it's still in customs on Monday, then I would just contact Anushi and see if on their end, because most of the time when you call USPS or you call any company, they're going to say, have you spoken with the shipper yet? They normally like to deal with the shipper first. They make it easier for the person shipping to contact and see where the package is more so than the receiver. So just contact Brian. Brian may be able to... Um, have a better chance at contacting them to say, hey, where is this? Why isn't this released? But, you know, they may have you contact them too. I'm just saying, like, if it doesn't if it doesn't arrive on Monday, then contact Brian yeah. and see if he can't inquire after why it moved from one customs and, and is stuck in another customs in the States. Not no, I was just going to say, because it is the holidays. Shipping is very slow. I ordered, um, on Black Friday, I ordered some coils and, and pre-made wire from Advanced Vape Supply. My package is still being shipped through the postal service. And that was over two weeks ago. So yeah. it's just holiday shipping. It, it, yeah. it gridlocks. <clears throat> it really does. I love Heath Moore's comment. So this is Kentucky. Free body piercing provided by Glock. Nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, also, a little nine like, millimeter, Nine millimeter gauge. And now that you guys know that it's probably a better idea to spend that couple extra five, six, seven dollars to put the extra couple of hundred dollars uh, insurance on your packages, um, scammers, scammers are super prevalent right now. Um, this is the season. There's a lot of people spending a lot of money um, for gifts and sales and stuff. A lot of modders are trying to get um, their last. Uh, their last designs out and everything. A lot of stuff has dropped over the past couple of the past month or so. Um, there's been a lot of lists and just so you guys are aware, scammers are prevalent. They are hitting people up in messenger. We've talked about this before, but it seems swags and I have a good friend that, um, got taken advantage of and I don't want that to happen to anybody. So we wanted to make sure that we repeat that, um, there is in the one gen group they've got a drop happening for their regulated one gen R. Um, it seems that the scammer is actually in the group, and I've talked to Anton about it. It and, happens uh, every time they release something. Every time they release something, all of a sudden, everyone who X ones to be contacted to actually get on the list is contacted through Messenger, and then they say, "Hey, account. send money to this," and blah blah blah. Yeah. That is not a true, that is not how they do business. Yeah, no modder does that. Very, very, it, it's almost non existent that a modder is going to contact you and ask you if you want to buy a mod. It happened in the Loki clan this week, too. A scammer pretending to be um, Stefano contacted people, hey, you want to buy a mod? And someone was smart enough to check the guy's profile, saw that he had one friend, and put two and two together, like, yeah, that's not. The real guy because the real guy wouldn't have just one friend right right the, the, the also if you are in the one gen group and you're worried about that there is a post in the one gen group that they say look this is our paypal address these are the people that yeah. will contact you do not give money to anybody else and the easiest way to check these things sorry to cut you up but the easiest way to check fine. these things before any other it, it, before any other strategy or whatever when you the first thing that you should default to no matter what if you if you're starting a new conversation, because I have conversations with Boris and uh, Anton from over a year ago at this point. So if they messaged me, 
you know, their names message me and I don't see any previous conversation. If it's the start of a new conversation, that's a huge red flag. But if it's a new conversation with a modder or some name that you should know, like if you're in the group and you're like, oh shit, it's uh, Alessandro from Core Design. He's, he's messaging me. You click on their name and you check their profile. Then you go back to the group and you click on the admin Alessandro and you see his profile. And if the profiles don't match, boom, already set. Then you message Alessandro, the real, the real Alessandro with a link to the fake account. And not only are you going to probably be in better stead and you'll get a link to the list because this is what happened to me with the one Jin M basically it was the list was over. But because I found uh, a scammer, he was like, oh, thank you so much. And he gave me a link to the list. I'm not promising this, but I mean, it's just what do you what would you expect if if if, if I found someone was trying to steal from from my business in my group um, and you were the one who brought that to me or whatever. You, I, I mean, I would, I would be, I would be indebted to you. I'd be like, thank you so much here. Have, you know, have a link to the, the mod. You can buy one. There you go. But that's Very, the easiest, easiest, easiest way to not get scammed. Step one or red flag. Number one, they contacted you via messenger. Okay. Red flag. Number two, their friends list, check their friends list. If it's small or if you don't have a bunch of shared friends or, or, other modders or people that you actually have seen before around that's another red flag red flag number three they're asking you to paypal them friends or family through messenger okay they insist on it yeah don't don't just don't do it tell them to invoice you through messenger or something like that or uh, through paypal if that's the yeah, case or send send you the verify. list so you can choose what you want you know i got some extras that i can sell all yeah. delrin red Make flag Exactly, exactly. So we just want you guys to all um, DC, they are already on the site, brother. Um, Black Friday V2 is the code. So, yeah, sorry, that's not high-end related. That's just quick. Got to gotta make the sale, you know? So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, yeah, we just want you guys to be safe. It's the holiday season. It's time for everybody to be, like, together and enjoying their family um, you know, you want to spend a little bit of money on yourself or somebody else. You want to make sure that that is actually, uh, followed through with, and that you get to have that joy of giving that gift to somebody or receiving what you worked hard for. Um, you don't want to have to worry and be upset that you got, you know, taken for some cash. So that's the case. Um, update on the, the thing we did in the VF last week, Tony Mitchell, he was the lucky man, and uh, I will be sending that out this week, brother. So, Congrats, Tony. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. You guys want to get into some fun stuff? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Let's get into some fun stuff. We have. We talked about there has been some things dropping. There's been mm -hmm. some cool stuff happening. Um, we got a couple to talk about today. I know that... Lucas, I don't know how to say his last name, bro. It's I, I don't remember. I don't remember it right now. Lebinsky? Bob. Bob. <laughs> I'll pull Mark. It's a Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Well, well, Goose he Juice. Had, um, I keep wanting to call it Smuggler. What's the name of the company? Sturm. 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 Yes, yeah, Sturm Mods. They have. In the past, they've done some. Um, they're going to drop this RTA. They're going to drop that RTA, but. The RTA that they were going to drop got put on hold with uh, manufacturing issues. So what he's done is he's gone ahead with an RDTA that is dropping currently. And it is called, what's it called, Swaggins? The Gent. The Gent. The Gent. Mac Tannen said, yeah, fun stuff. Send nudes. All right, bro, I'll get on that as soon as the show's over. Um, Excuse me. Let me see here. Let me go to the messenger here, and we will start with the gent today. Bam. Uh, let's go all the way over. That is pal vapes ringing with swags dressed like a pilot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a rebel pilot, thank you. I didn't share it. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So here is the gent. It is an RDTA. It looks like it has a cool little uh, three-hole airflow. Um, is it dual sided single or single sided, sided Louis? Single sided. Single sided with gent engraved on it. This looks like it has the extension and, or is this the same one just with different drip tips? 
that's this extension and it comes with two drip tips. So that those drip tips right there, the wide one and the thin one, both come with your individual order. So if you get the short or the long, you get both drip tips yeah, and, and the difference could, between, go ahead. I was going to say, and you can put a 510 in the short one. That is a 510 opening. Okay. Yeah. Okay, or so you can use it as a slam um, chuff cap. Looks like it comes with a beauty ring. Um, it is a funky looking, it's, it's a funky, but like a classy kind of looking RDTA. Oh, mm -hmm. here's the extension. Here you go. You can really tell the difference here. Um, the ring is way bigger on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. And the tanks are, uh, different sizes. I think that the short is two and a half mils and the mm -hmm. long is three and a half mils or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And the airflow is three times 1.1 1 .1 millimeter. So Perfect. let's take a look at the deck real quick. The deck is super basic um it, it has the, the the thing that i like about this deck is it's got the two blockers so that when you put the leads underneath the uh, screws they won't push out so yeah. you can really crank down those screws and not worry about the leads pushing out and then it has the plug the fill plug got a few rdtas that i really like but filling them is a real pain in the ass um so he, sh I he shows a video that. of it and it's really simple and he rocks it without the plug which yeah, is what i will probably do too that's what i would do well what, it's what's smart, cool the... is you see the plug has a little air hole in the exactly, middle of it exactly bro that's exactly so smart. exactly that's what i was going to say is is that the 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 hole in the air plug or in the um fill plug is actually really smart because there's no vacuum to be had if you overfill the um, the little wick ports there, yeah, so. yeah, and that's really important for a cotton style tank like that. If it's if it's mesh, most mesh or RDA, you know, RTAs or whatever don't have those negative pressure holes because mesh, yeah. you know, let the air breathe through. But cotton pretty creates a pretty vicious vacuum. So what's up, Quicksilver? Good to see you, brother. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I just saw him. He tagged me. Uh, why is James Ryan saying Americoat? Type down in there why you're saying Americoat. Um, uh, he wants to call them out for the issues that people are having with Americoat right now. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do any of that because I yeah. have made multiple purchases from Americoat and had absolutely zero with them. And he has no idea here. He had no idea that we do this show. Um, he had no, you know, I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, that's, I, that's I don't know issue. enough about it. To Find come. your yeah. AmeriCode information. You know, if you're looking for it, search elsewhere because we can't really speak on it from experience. I don't. I know nothing about either side of the story. So, so continuing with the gent, um, it's got a really, it's really tiny. Uh, it looks like the short version is only is under 25 millimeters from deck bottom of deck to top of drip tip. So that's short, man. That's under an inch tall for the entire tank. Um. And even extended, it's it's still small. Well, let's see, let's see. I've got an extension. I mean, it's it looks like it's nice. You, they always do really good machining and stuff. Uh, there it is on the smuggler, and it looks pretty dope on the smuggler, bro. Swaggins, I'm kind of I'm kind of jealous that you got on the list. Uh, I got on the list. Mean, it's I'll tell you what, it's it. So the ones that you're seeing, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he has a. I mean, his prices are also stellar, always. Yeah. yeah. Too. But uh, outside of that, basically. You can get a flush hybrid. Um, so basically, flush meaning it's not recessed. So you can get a hybrid uh, eighteen three fifty. There it is. Um, there it is. That's a hybrid. So when you look at the picture that he showed you up there, that's that's not recessed. That just sits flush to the top. So basically, what he told me when I messaged him and to clarify to anybody no. here, uh, I don't know. It's too far behind. So, but basically, um, he mentioned like if you're going to use the recess that the long looks better with the recessed, but the best mm. part is, is that you can buy either, I would recommend buying the short or buying the long and then getting the adapter, the other, the opposing adapter to come with it because the short comes, uh, whether it's the short adapter or the short Addy, um, it comes with a BF pin. So say you get the long and you get the short adapter, the short adapter will come with a BF pin so that you'll have it. If you get the short, it comes with it already installed, and you can get the long, so you can swap them out. But it only the BF pin only works with the short. So yeah. Either way, you'll get it. You'll get it if you get the short. You'll get it if you get the short adapter. But it only works with the short version. So if you only get the long version, then you're not going to have a BF pin. 
And what's cool is is he and it, when he put the list up, he, he offers you can buy the full kit. So because the the way he does the listings, it can get confusing and overwhelming. There's a lot yes. of parts. Here's your warning. Read the whole like read the list really well before you and ask questions. Way. If you don't know, if you're confused, ask. I did, and he's Go perfectly ahead. fine with answering your questions. Go ahead, Louis. I didn't mean to cut you off, bro. Oh no, 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 you're good. But yeah, um, like he said, like I said, um, he offers it as the full kit, so you can just hit that button, click no for everything else, and you'll get everything listed up there. Or you can go through and just individually pick what you want. You know, you want the short tank. It's just that's so it. Good. You know. Oh, you oh, know it's what? Just, it's just so good, dude. It's just, it's just so good. It's just, oh, it's just, you know what? I've oh, I've, I've been interested that. in an actual straight mod. Like, uh, I have the zero, or I'm sorry, not the zero. Um, yeah, I have the zero. Uh, I have the Delrin, which the Delrin is one of my absolute favorite mods. Uh, and I've wanted like a normal stratum, like V4, V3, whatever. I wanted like a stratum mod and, mm -hmm. uh, OLC stratum mod. And when the Black Blast came out, I was just enthralled by it. I thought it was gorgeous. Um, didn't have the money I, I decided to pass on it at the time um but when this one came out with the new submariner you know what i'm gonna show you the submariner 510 is cool as shit dude okay? that is my kind of 510 so it's got the submariner 510 which i want you to focus now will you please focus will you please focus, focus, focus. daniel son focusing focus, focus. You know what? Anyway, it's got some uh, some really cool engravings and stuff on it. And let me let me do this so you can see better. Um, the mirrored the mirrored the mirrored uh, board that was on the black blast. The way the buttons are laid out. The fact that it's Delrin and stainless. I love black and stainless together. I just feel like it's really classy. Uh -huh. But here's the five ten. There, it's focusing now. And the, what's cool about the five ten is you see this. See the outer ring? It's reverse threaded. And it is so cool because I can put my I can either set this and put this on to see where the airflow sets. Or I discovered this as you screw it on. I can set it down and my airflow is not well, actually my airflow ended up perfect both sides. But say I wanted to swap it, I can just back it out a little bit and then tighten it down a little bit and it'll turn as I go. To nice. where it'll bring like the airflow around. With some of my manually adjusting uh, five tens on my squonkers, like if I if I just play with that for a little bit, it'll wind up working itself out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's really cool, man. Like you can put the airflow wherever the heck you want, and I find that to be very very cool. See, um, I love I that feature because I am OCD about my airflow. A lot of people are. Where and e like like even with like things that I can't. Like on a spring loaded 510, I can't adjust it. I will go as far as like putting O rings under my RDAs and, and RTAs just to get it where I want. You know, I, that feature is awesome. Yep. So sad. I've done that too, man. And people get scared about that. As long as you're making a good connection. Um, now, with mech mods and stuff, you kind of want to be a little bit more careful. Yeah. But, um, yeah. That's, that's like an old modder trick, man. Just put an O ring under, under the 510 there. Okay. FC, what's up, you legend? Who? FC Fictitious is character, man. He's the legend. The legend of legends. So, did anybody... Matt Mark C says, I wish I didn't pass the Black Blast 2. Man, you know what, dude? The Black you, Blast Mark. was sexy and everything, but I'm glad I waited for this thing. Mm. Which Mark? Mark C. Mark. Uh, I'm glad I waited for this one, man. This one, I, I just... If the Black Blast had this 510, then I would feel bad. You know what? I think, to, <laughs> I think we need to talk about getting Mark Todd an OLC Stratum to fucking review. I think we need to. Mark, you still in chat? I think he's still Dude, waiting for his is he still Is he still really, really racist against Russians? Is it, if that's an issue, then I hear that's he's probably... really racist in general. Mark hates everybody <laughs> equally. Okay. Yeah. I know like the slobs hate him. What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> um okay um, so if anybody was interested in the brown mod that louis held up i know i was because i got to actually hold that specific mod that particular mod in my hand and um 
you know, when it comes to, I, I like mech mods, I like tube mods and things like that. But when it comes to this side of the industry, I am all about the regulated DNA 60, DNA 75C, um, you know, I'm all about like the nice high, like better chips and RTA Ooh. action. But I got to tell you, this mech mod right here that Louis holding up, it's pretty slick. It's put together pretty nicely, and they've got a ton of options. Speaking of, is that the tool? Yeah, that's dude. The tool. Yeah, it sits inside under the panel from the five ten mm -hmm. tool. That's mm -hmm. dope. Can you store mm -hmm. quarters in there in case you need to like feed a meter yeah. or something? Quarters, <laughs> and uh, it only fits hundred dollar bills for some reason. Uh, okay, <laughs> doesn't work. It can it can figure out. It's like when you try to put a wrinkled bill inside of a vending machine. Yes. It'll know. It'll be like this is not good yep. enough for me. No, nope. nope. Nope, only hundreds. So there is there is something very cool and very new coming out from that company, Loki, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Loki, Loki mods or Loki, Loki clan if you're if you're on Facebook. What's up, Juan, my fellow Texan? I don't know about the true Texan, but you are my fellow Texan, Mister. Remember Juan. the Alamo. Um, there is a new mod from Loki coming out called the Veneer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's spelled ridiculous, so don't, don't. Um... If you watch the show Vikings, you'll you'll know. Oh, okay, okay. It's mm -hmm. one of those. It's one of those. One, yes. So we've got a few renderings, and uh, we've got some a actual picture of it. I think. Um, it so like maple syrup. And now this is. I'm gonna do a preface here. It's so it's very new, so it's it's still in like design and beta phase. So specs and all that stuff, I don't have much of. And we have been verified that it's okay to show. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys the new Loki mod. Now remember, this is a mech, and when you see mm -hmm. it, you're gonna be like, "What?" So bam, here it is. Loki is putting together a side by side mech. Uh, it looks oh, yeah. like it's 18650. Why don't you give us the lowdown on it, and I'll scroll through the pictures while you talk about it. All right. Um, so it's a, it's a mech. It's a side by side, obviously. It's um, I believe it's gonna have the mod dog, um, V2510, um, uh, uh, manually adjustable, so you can get your airflow where you want it. Um, same side fire feature. I believe it's gonna have the same Allen key little door in there. Um. I'm not sure what that little brass section is underneath. You see it next to the, the it door. Looks like, sure. It looks like just like a door, uh, like a, a tube piece that you can open so that you can access the 510. It might be that. Um, like I said, it's real new. He's got a 3D rendering, um, 3D printed version of it for, for his own right personal. Right here. Test. I'm showing the 3D printed version of it right now next yeah, to okay. the actual mech. Um. Yeah, but it's a pure mech, solid silver contacts. Um, he does everything himself in his in his garage. The uh, it's gonna come in all the colors. The original AC or came in. It's only 0.5 millimeters taller than the uh, current AC or. So for it being a side by side mod, it, non squawker. It looks the, like it's exactly the same height, man. With these two side by side. Yeah, yeah. And then um, the Integra comes right to the top of it. Yep, but he, I, when I texted or texted him, he said that there was a problem with the 3D printed version, so he needs to make it like a 0.5 millimeter taller. So ah, okay. Little, just like you won't be able to notice it pretty much. But yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's the uh, veneer. David Matram, welcome. Good to see you, brother. Ricky Mahoney, it's good to see you. Um, I'm just gonna David. start saying hi to people as I see them occasionally throughout the thing. If I don't say hi to you, hi. I'll get you eventually. Yes. Um. So very cool. What is that? Wait, I just saw something funny. It's gonna be priced around the same as the uh, the AC. Or I think it's a like I think I paid two fifty euro shipped. Um, where is he? Broken Ohm just bought one. His his, his pricing is probably more fresher than mine is. But yeah, it's gonna be around that two hundred two fifty euro price mark, which is pretty reasonable for the quality of work that he does. Alan Tovey says, I'm in UK. Wish I was in Texas. Heck yeah, bro. Come on down. Um, that was Southern as hell. Come on down, y'all. Come on. Bring the bring the biscuits. Um, okay, so yeah, dude, I'm I'm stoked on that. Does he have any idea on when he's gonna be dropping that or what? Uh early next year. So maybe January, February. 
Okay. All right. So he's working. You're going to see a lot of stuff coming out after the holidays. A lot of stuff. So mm-hmm. save your schmeckles. Yes. <laughs> all of them Christmas cards and, and, and Hanukkah cards and whatever you get. All that money that's in them cards. Save it. Save it. Put it in your piggy bank. Don't do them after holiday sales. Just ignore it. Stay off the internet. Just tune in for the, the VF and the stew and then turn your internet off. Yes. <laughs> Louis, uh, Pay for two uh, days checks a month. in the mail, brother. Checks in the mail. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you guys, too. Um, there is a gentleman who makes coils, okay? And I know we've got um, – everybody has – Everybody has their guy they like that makes micro coils and stuff. Um, but I've recently discovered a gentleman in the U.S. from Cloud Couture. Goes by the name of A.J. Holland. I've been buying coils from him for a minute. But he has recently released the tiny micro MTL aliens. They come out to about a point seven, And uh, they are pretty freaking fire i'm using three of them currently they're about two and a half millimeters and uh they are what are they five wraps i think really 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 nice coils so you guys should check out cloud couture um and aj holland coils if you want to if you want to grab some mtl aliens if you're in the states uh, i highly recommend them i bought those on the black friday sale and uh, I am not upset. I'm going to pay full price for him next time. Bam. Okay. Real quick, we forgot to mention 5150, our sponsor, our juice sponsor. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys want 5150, you get 20% off with the code the VF 20 If you are in the States. If you're out of the States and you want the 20% off, make sure you email them and they'll take care of you. Tell them that you heard about them from the High End Vape Forum. Um, yes, and that is what I got. We are an hour in, guys, and it's time to free ball it because we have pretty much blown through our content. Um, yes. <laughs> questions in chat, we will take <laughs> it's now time for questions with pal. Oh, wait, where'd you go, pal? Um, yeah, oh, pal spirit. Mike in LA says AJ makes some badass coils, he really does, he really does at Cloud Couture. The low mass master, right on, bro. Got to have those low mass coils with uh, with mech mods. What's up, frames? Dude, yeah, you shared that picture in the VF last week, and I was like, oh my god, I gotta get some of them coils. They Ricky look Mahoney like said it looks like you need a pretty tall tank for it. Um, if you for what? That that's I mean it. The Integra was what he had in that picture on top of that Loki. Yeah, no, you yes. don't need a tall tank for it. The 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 Integra with the four mil tank, it's only I think it's only thirty two millimeters tall, so it's 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 not tall. At all. Yeah, you this don't need a tall tank with that. But with gen- no side by sides anyway, you're gonna this need is a tall tank. This is probably what a tall tank will look like on that. Yeah, you want something a little bit shorter. I mean, this doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look sexy Damn. as that other thing looks like. I mm-hmm. went to pull yeah. out the I went to pull out the Vapor Giant WS6 or whatever VS6 or whatever it is. It's like that tall, and I was, <laughs> but it's downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like like with most side by sides, it's all going to depend on like the battery size and all that stuff, and how far up the 510 is compared to the battery. Most of them, though, you're going to need a tank over you know 30. 35. That doesn't help, Stan. I can't see anything. Quicksilver, I'm not giving up the skyline. It's right here waiting to be cleaned i need to this build is the it. thing about the skyline man i bought this tank for it 65 dollars shipped for this tank section just so it could look sexier sitting on my shelf dude that that tank section makes all the difference it makes it vape better too hey saddle horse blues asked a good question is that a 24 millimeter on the loki or 22 oh the loki uh will fit up to a 24 see that's the 24 millimeter beauty ring and it is, is it going to be perfect. the same on the side by side? Yes, perfectly flush. It will be will be the same. So that is covered. Because you know, us high end people, we love putting beauty rings. <laughs> up. So it's true. I uh, I did. I did miss the um, and not because I missed it 
just because I missed it by choice. The Hussar V1.5 list. Ah. Uh, um. I've. Uh, I've I'm trying. I've. You have the V1. I got to cool it with the money, and I love the V1. So I did get myself the new. Here's a here's here's a conundrum. Okay. Whoops. I got myself the steam tuners. Here it's right here. I think. Yeah. I got myself the steam tuners tower tank. The clear steam tuners tower tank for it. Okay. I've got uh now the way this works is is you put this on and then the drip tip goes right in here has an o-ring on it and it threads to the chimney okay it's got the same airflow in it and everything you can see the airflow not or i'm sorry the juice flow notches and all that business and i got this and i didn't realize that i needed the drip tip also so i went looking for the drip tip and the stainless doesn't exist you just can't find it it just doesn't exist the steam tuners stainless drip tip I cannot find anywhere. So if somebody out there has a steam tuners, uh, steam tuners cap for the Hussar V1 drip tip, I would love to talk to you about taking it off of your hands if you wouldn't mind. Um, I did get myself kind of a piece of junk one to see if it works, but I would prefer the original steam tuners one. So yeah. let me know if you guys have one out there. That would be fantastic, and I would be greatly appreciative. Um, yeah, so Christmas is coming up. Is there anything that you guys have had on your list? Maybe you've already picked up for yourself that your wife is supposed to uh, rewrap re for you. Or, oh, uh, <laughs> I'm in that boat, too. What? I'm, sorry, I'm in that boat, too. Not, not wife. Thing, but yeah getting stuff before what do you what do you got what are you guys eyeballing that um may this make was it supposed to be a christmas tree? present this was supposed to be a christmas present but i decided to keep it uh this was supposed to be a christmas present but i decided to keep it <clears throat> uh let's just say that i'm not getting any vape stuff for christmas because everything that i bought for christmas that i was supposed to give to my wife i decided to keep instead so i'm not getting any vape gear for christmas that i know of no, me either. I told my wife, don't buy me nothing. Just don't, don't stuff. spend a cent on me. Um, I said, spend I've... $300 on me on random stuff. I want to be surprised. <laughs> I, <said. laughs> I, uh, I saved all the cash for the children's. Mm, uh, I don't have any of those. Maybe Otherwise, either. I would have got myself a Hussar V1.5. <laughs> That's not good for you. That's not good for you. But yeah, like, I know what you mean though with the uh, having to sit out on certain lists. Like at this time of the year, money gets tight for everybody, and you just gotta pick and choose. Which I'm up. Or it, it I'm hurts. at a point where I uh, I'm not buying anything until I sell something. I've 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 had to go back to holding myself to that because I did that a while back, and it's been and then I just added like eight new things to my collection, and it's just it's too much. I can't fit anything else on this shelf right here, and this is a. <laughs> two and a half foot long shelf. So it's time to sell something before I buy something. So I have to get rid of say the Mako or my, my uh, inside or side by side or a, a cycloid or one of my SVA rats. Like I have to get rid of something before I can buy something else. I am. Oh dude, for Christmas, I got the DPM dot two. Very cool, man. That's a cool looking mod. Um, I've been kind of worried about DPM being, being in the um uh where are they at the philippines um i have talked to vicious ant and they are doing fine in the philippines for anybody that has been worried about that situation um also james ryan said he's getting a sick row or he wants the sick row but the gent is his christmas present so he jumped on that train with you bro whoa whoa i just read the chat okay um <laughs> Side chat's getting a little out of hand, guys. A little out of hand. Um, I did grab. I did get on the list for the one Gen R. Uh, thank you very much to Anton for that. That that is awesome. And so I'm super stoked to get that in and show it to you guys. It's almost the same size as the Mech, and the Mech is absolutely tiny. Uh, so that is that is a very very cool thing that I'm stoked on. It's that small with the DNA 75C in it. Um, so I can't wait to get a hold of that thing. 
and I am also going to be unloading some things like swagons. Uh, I've got some things I'm going to be unloading that I've already started doing. Uh, thanks, Mac Tandon, for that. And uh, and oh yeah, a little bit of cash. And so, this too. Yeah, I, that's mine. That's mine. Put it down. Remember, it didn't come with a borrow or anything. So I, don't yeah, I remember that. Put it down. Why Stop it showing even? that off. That's mine. Oh yeah, that's a question I want to ask you guys. All right. A lot of these mods coming out that use boro tanks and, and bridges and stuff don't come with boros, right? Is that a problem? Because if you think about it, this is a I, problem like, if you don't have Joko, any boros. Dude, Joko I bought this. Doesn't come with an RTA. This Joko is just a Joko, right? Yeah, but that's fine. So, yeah. So the boro is basically an RTA. You just no, the RTA buy. is what goes inside of the boro. I think it should come with a boro. This came with nothing. I had no boros because I sold my BB before this, mm -hmm. before getting back into it. So I had this, got it, didn't realize it didn't come with a boro, and then had to wait a week for a boro to come in. So I just had this expensive thing sitting and being like, all right, well, I can't use it because I don't have a, a tank section to put my RTA in. So I was, what, do you, what do you think, Stan? I think that an all-in-one unit such as is what kind of I would consider things like, you know, things like this. This isn't a high mm -hmm. end, but um, things like the BB. The BB uh, comes with a Boro, and I it know, even comes I, with a bridge. I, and that's where I'm getting to. I think that a all-in-one unit should come with a Boro and, like, a, a, a stock coil bridge, just like the BB does um the billet box i think that they should you know gotcha so especially Steven if it's going to be an homage if it's going to be like hey we got permission from billet box to replicate a boro type all-in-one device have a boro with it if you're going to say that you went as far as to you respect this company and how they make a product i'm not trying to i'm not trying to like harp on friendly flipper here i'm just trying yeah. to make a point is the fact that if you're going to go as far as to say hey we're the only ones that got permission to do this well then at least give you know an equivalent package uh -huh. give me the boro and give me like a little bridge inside how much i mean i'm already paying you know almost 250 dollars for this what's it what's what's it really cost yeah, to you the boro guys tanks to like an extra 30 you know like I, i'm me personally i'm impartial to it because i'm like of the mindset of you no know, None of my non-squawk mods come with a tank or, or anything to run on top of it. So it's left up to the buyers buy that or already have it. Like, that's just the, like my way of thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the, one, kind of the one tweak is just the Boro is what you put your RTA in. If you bought a Joko and the Joko required some special adapter in order for you to be able to put your your uh, RTA on top of it, and it didn't come with that adapter, that would be kind of fucked up. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, Reverend Vapes says, banned my wife from ever buying me anything vape-related. That sounds like there's a story there. <laughs> yeah, I kind of would like to hear it. I'm going uh, <laughs> to... If you don't mind, bro, I'm going to ask you to go to the VF Facebook group and put that story as a post so that I can read it, because... I that sounds interesting. I wonder what did she well, I, buy you that made you go, No, you're not allowed to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm selling this because I have this. This is just because someone said it in the chat, and I know a million people are gonna ask because everybody wants to know. It's like, all right, well, why are you selling that beautiful piece? There has to be something wrong with it. There has to be some reason why this shifty guy you right have the small DNA sixty one. It's like there's no shifty reason. If I want to get rid of something, it's because I feel like getting rid of it. But just so you can know. The reason why is because I have this and a BB. I don't. I don't need this. I, as much as I like it, it's like I'm trying to tell myself that I have too much shit. Plus the 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 DNA sixty or, or the BF sixty, just looks. I like the way that one looks more. I like the purple doors and panels on the seventy five C. Here's a I just like the form factor of the uh, of the sixty. Here's here's something brought up that is. It's a, it's a topic. It's, it's something to talk about. Okay. Um, coin chin says, so which borrow do I go for? Okay. I'm assuming you have seen all the different borrows that are out there. Uh, I'm assuming that you've seen the, um, the friendly flipper borrows, which are basically mums borrows that have the flipper engraving on them. Right. And the mums borrows themselves. I have personally spent the money to get the really nice looking mums boros okay the ones that are colored i got one right here 
This yeah. is a Mums Borrow. It comes with its own, basically, plug. Yes, but that Mums Borrow does not have the issue that the other Mums Borrows have. Right, because it's Delra, Delrin, not right. Not PC um, 1000. The other Mums Borrows, the ones that are made of PC, are very susceptible to um, these ones. Are very susceptible to cracking juice, juice crackers. Cracking. Juice crackers. So, yeah. if you are a person who doesn't like to worry about juice crackers, don't ever use PC polycarbonate, um, which a lot of these tanks use. A lot of them. Uh, if you are a person that doesn't mind or doesn't mind paying attention to what type of juice they're putting in a PC tank, then go for it. It's an awesome. T it's an awesome boro. Uh, it fits like the Zeta Bridge and all those. It fits them really well. Uh, almost better than the stock boros from billet box in my opinion you feel you, you look like you feel the same way swags you shaking what? your head what are you shaking your head yes to uh just because sometimes i zone out and so i like to look like i'm paying attention <laughs> <laughs> called out bro um so they, they are pricey though those 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 mums boros are about 60 bucks um, so if you are someone who doesn't want to pay attention to tank cracker juices and things like that, I would say stick to a Delro mums boro or get the stock billet box boros, um, or get like some companies make, I don't have it right here. Some companies make Ulton boros. Um, I believe BB vapes has an Ulton boro. BB vapes like has one. I think, um, a D DMV over in france has one mm -hmm. oh do you see what reverend rapes wrote <laughs> no what do you say it would serve me right if she said here's your socks i sent the skyfall back ah. <laughs> there you go Enough said. if you haven't scored a skyfall yet it's still worth getting one so keep your oh, eyes yeah. on the group it's Definitely. my favorite it's addy been, it's been selling like hotcakes for over two years man yep Speaking of which, I wanted to get the chat's opinion on this. You know, we have our little group Facebook Messenger group chat thing, and we were talking about doing a uh, best of 2019. You guys in chat be interested in a show like that? Personal favorites, rather, instead of best yeah. of 2019. Yeah, it's like, like our our spin on it, but like our favorite, each each panel member's favorite. Yeah, there's no way we'd be able to do a best of. No, we don't all have the we same don't touch everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From what so. we've gotten over 2019, what's our favorite? And then you guys get to speculate in chat and be like, "Oh, Swaggins are an idiot that came out in 2018." And You're like, even if you guys in chat mentioned something that we don't got, you know, we'll definitely give it a shout. You know, we we do browse the Facebook groups a lot, so we are aware of a lot of good. I stuff. think. I think what we sh I think that it doesn't matter what year it was made if it's still prevalent and better than most things in 2019 that should still be considered. Dude, yeah, like the, like the Narda, like that that's still my like Mark Todd did a poll in his group uh this week and the Narda came in third for best Addy of 2019. So like it's still like old like Addy just cuz it's 4 or 5 years old if it's still good and it still holds up to what's out right now it, it qualifies. That's well, the, I mean, I guess we, I guess we could split that then into two factors because this will be good for people who are wanting to buy. But like, what's our, what's our favorite of of 2019? And it could be something that's from 2016. You know, yeah. so people would know that. All right, well, this is still really good, and I can go out and try and find it, and it might be easier to find it because it's there's it's more prevalent in the BSTs and whatnot. But we could also do like, all right, out of what we know specifically that came out of 2019. You know, because so, I'm going to say Skyfall probably. So it's like if, if I say 2019 specifically, then I have to think more specific to what came out in this. Past yeah, I don't. Year. I wouldn't worry about the year as much yeah. as if you if it's still prevalent, you still like it. If it's still good, because we have new stuff and we have old stuff and personal favorites. I think that's a. I think that that's how we should do it, and uh, probably yeah. on the next show because that should be the last show of the year. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, um, and we'll have a special guest. Most likely. Yeah. We will most likely, most likely. A, most likely have a special guest. Pal 702. Um, very cool. Well, I will be putting down in the description, I will be putting the um, Discord. <laughs> pal, we miss you, pal. Um, hopefully, pal will be here for the next show. Um, 
I will be putting the Discord link down in the description. I'll be putting the Facebook link down in the description. Um, and, you know, anything else that's that's necessary for that's relative to this show. So make sure you guys check the description out. Um, also, I just want to say, hey, thank you very much for being here. And uh, I want you guys all to have an awesome holiday. I really do. So make sure you guys are putting insurance on anything you order or anything like that. Um, make sure you guys are very skeptical about weird messages that you get in Facebook. I know it's easy to get excited that the mo- oh the modder contacted me. I'm gonna get a space on. The- just just take a deep breath and uh, think about it for a second, and and make sure that it's all legit. Okay. And am I really that question- special? Think about that. If you you right. always have to ask your question yourself that question. Am I that special? Do I mean that much to anybody other than my mother that they would reach out to me? And if the answer is no, then you should probably not give them your money. And I want to say this too: you can message any of us on Facebook, um, and Definitely. I have an automatic message because I don't check my Facebook messages crazy often, where it will give you my email address that you can email me. Um, so just it, it, feel free to contact us to ask us any questions, uh, Vapor Swaggins, Louie, or me, or Pal even. Um, but pal might not respond. <laughs> no, Maybe probably not. So, or even uh, any of the moderators in our group at that too. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. J Roller's awesome. Uh, FC, you know what? If you want, if you want the most objective opinion ever, he's vicious. Get, get, talk, talk to, uh, talk to FC because FC is really good at being like, hey, these five other addies that came out. What's different about them that 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 makes me need to buy it because I have this one right here and this does everything they do. He likes he, he he's more of a, you know, uh, a regular person in the sense that hasn't like drank too much of the pudding. He loves uh-huh. drank too much of the pudding, the punch, <laughs> the pudding. If you're drinking the pudding and you <laughs> wow, have a problem you drink pudding. Mm. Yeah, you can actually. Drink if pudding. you it's want the com- good, if you want the complete opposite of that contact, we owe six oh nine. And you no, that's not true. We will no t- contact FC because we we likes to complain just for the sake of complaining, and it's fun. Yeah. FC will give you legitimate reasons why you shouldn't spend another two hundred dollars on something. If you want to just get hyped and buy it, talk to Mac Tandon. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Talk contact to you. honestly, talk I'm to any one of us on this panel. Everything. Like you need to buy this. It's new. Look, the bevels are different. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, that would be my reasoning. Look, the bevels are different. You got to buy it. Fictitious yeah. character will always bring you down to earth and make you see the. Uh, he'll he'll be the reasonable voice yeah. in your head. So, yeah. If you want um, to get unexcited, talk to FC. But it's FC. it's a good justifiable unexcitement. Yes. Very. He's very uh, even keel when it comes to uh, new products. And uh, <laughs> Stan will make Unlike you. Us. Uh, Stan will make you get excited and. Uh, spend your money without thinking about it twice absolutely that's, that's I why you stop stands. hanging out with you and uh I, fc will I, talk you out of it i will make you excited over a phillips head screw oh my yeah God. it's your True. fault that this even happened to me just yeah. let it, you know it's your fault louis and it's pal's fault for introducing me to you i'm just saying um blame so, pal. hey you know what guys thank you for being here thank you very much uh there's football to watch today so we got to mm-hmm. make sure uh fancy football playoffs are happening um anything you want to say swags i guess we're ending See yeah you guys in the next one yeah <laughs> all right hopefully pal you're here next week we love you you guys stay safe you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and remember i gotta take a poop vape on <laughs> Expect no limitations. No, except...